wasn't planning to film today, but um, you know, we got these cool bridges and it's the Peso River or Peco River. I'm, I have to look it up. Um, also, <laughs> you're gonna call bullshit on this, but um, just a few moments ago, uh, I'm you know going down the highway at like fucking 80 miles per hour. And I see a bunch of vultures on the side of the road, so I don't pay too much attention to it, but I realize they're not moving. So all of a sudden I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna slow down a wee bit here. So I've always slowed down to about 75. All of a sudden, one of them just bolts for it, like leaves. And uh, I basically, I thought I was gonna clear it. And no, it suddenly just changes to, what the fuck, man? Um, it just kind of changed direction. It was coming across here, and then suddenly about here, it went like this way again, away from me. <laughs> and I, I just kind of ducked down, but I, I shoved my head right up that poor thing's ass at probably 65 miles per hour. And uh, yeah, it was a bit of a shock. It hit me on the left side here. Definitely, uh, definitely dazed me pretty good. Um, and I, all I remember is hitting the impact, opening my eyes, and my my windscreen was gone. <laughs> and uh, well, it wasn't my first reaction. My first reaction was, oh, "Holy fuck! I need to get off the road." And I'm, as I'm struggling to pull it over, I realized my windscreen was completely gone I'm thinking oh fuck it must have just smashed my windscreen because it literally just full face right to the fucking bird and it was a full vulture right and I pull over I'm just fucking completely woozy and, and amazed I'm alive uh, anyways I'm all collected now and I thought I'd stop by there and take some pictures of that river and, and bridge but yeah, fuck. I'm still kind of in pain. My uh, left side of my jaw is pretty hurting. And, uh, and uh, what else? I got a headache. My neck is sore. Uh, the only thing I wish, I wish I had my GoPro on. I would have been, uh, that would have been a highlight reel for sure. But um, yeah. Maybe it was a good thing I didn't have it. Maybe it would have been a little bit extra leverage on that bird, but, uh, or I could have just broken it, who knows. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't pleasant. But yeah, I guess uh, I can cross uh, headbutting an animal to death off my list. I'm in Del Rio. Just had lunch. And I gotta re-record something because my camera wasn't on. Anyways, um, this is just on the Mexican border of this place. And now I'm off to San Antonio, hopefully. As long as no more birds hit me in the face. Um, oh, still a little sore from that, that hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, the old guy where I was talking to this morning. He's my neighbor from the motel. Bit of a culture shock. He uh, had some interesting stories. He was asking about the bike here, and he's got himself a Triumph Thruxton, I believe. 
so he's more into the other bikes, but he's there, I think, for the for the races. Um, yeah, interesting fella. He was a contractor, I guess, in um, in Iran, flying Hueys and Bell Cobras and other helicopters. So, so he was working with the British there and some Canadians. Since that was the, the Shah of Iran era and the Cold War, it would be some interesting stories, I would think. Uh, especially since he's up in the mountains, so it's like kind of close to Russia. Just saying. Could be my imagination, maybe just working for the Shah as a, as a civilian contractor, but who knows. He didn't really get into it too much. Um, of course, I probably didn't really ask too hard either. Ask too much about it. But uh, yeah, I would have loved to hear more about those stories. <laughs> oh, and uh, got talking about the, you know, Canadian American differences, and you know, he was a he was a definitely a bit of a right winger. I am in Texas, uh, and not near Austin, so. Showed me his uh, his pistol there. He had a a six Sawyer two three two I think or something like that. It was like two three something, and uh, you know had nine millimeter and all that. And then definitely uh, the oh shit. Definitely interesting guy to talk to. You know what? There's not much to this town. Let's see if I can pick this up and send on Antonio. Hey guys, um, me again. I know I don't normally show my face or record like this, uh, but I'm in San Antonio and uh, I just didn't take the bike out when I got here. I thought I'd maybe have some time to do that, but I don't. Um, the place is having a fiesta, or it's basically just a big festival. I guess it's like May days, or well, it's April, so um, but I don't know what it would be. Uh, kind of like a Mardi Gras, I guess. Uh, so the streets are all closed. Um, there's a big party. I'm staying by the Market Square, just down that way. Not that you would know what that is. And just people everywhere, street drinking, um, and yeah, I, I don't know if you can hear. There's like music going on right now too. I uh, just looked out my window, and um, yeah, that's about it. I'm still sore as hell. My neck is killing me. Um, this part of my face is pretty hurting. Actually, almost just my eyes a bit red. Uh, from getting hit in the face with a freaking vulture. So I'm going to pass out early and post this to YouTube. And uh, that's about it. Please subscribe and uh, you can listen to me rant uh, my way across the country. Thanks again, guys. Bye.